I S U P K. Sisters, we are the ISUPK out of One West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Yahana. I am Officer Yakad, and my brother here is Officer Mike And today we're going to deal with color in the Bible. Color in the Bible is something that the Christian Church says doesn't matter. And what we are going to bring out today in the Scriptures is to show that color does matter, and we're going to prove it every word in this scripture. First we'd like to head to Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. The book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit. Alright. Now this here is Daniel who is having a vision. One of the many visions that he had. And what he's giving here right now is a vision of the most high sitting on the throne, right? Whose garment was white as snow. His garment was white as snow. Now the main fact that he has a garment, that means he has a body. He's a spiritual being, but he also has a body, right? And the hair of his head, like the, like the pure wool. The what? The hair of his head, like the pure wool. Now the hair on his head was like the pure wool. Now which race of people has hair like wool. Like just a, a sidebar. Go ahead. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as a burning fire. That alone shows, shows you how intense the most high is. And you know there, there's, there is a way and that style and that flair that only black people Hispanic people and Native Indian people can bring through the power of the Mosa. Is that it? Come on, come on, come on, come Let's go more deep in the New Testament to show where color, to be more specific, the color of Christ comes in. Can you go to Revelation chapter 1, verse 1? Because the Christian church say color doesn't matter. But the white man who is the devil that the Bible speaks of, through Christianity has created one of the greatest identity theft in the world. They have stolen the identity of the children of Israel. Go ahead. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Now this is John. John is given a revelation. He got a revelation from the Most High and he's going to give a description. Now jump to verse 13. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Now the seven candlesticks represent seven churches that were set up. Go ahead. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Now the man that is saw in, in, the, in the midst of the seven candlesticks is Yahweh Shai, who the world called Jesus the Christ. Go ahead. Girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Huh. Now this, this is this is a typical black man. The flair and the style that they have, the, the, the girdle that they have is warlike apparel. 
This was the clothes that we had on. But this is given a description of Yahweh Shai. So he has a body and he's wearing clothes. And John has this vision of Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It was what? It was white like wool. Now white is the color. The wool is a description, a texture of the hair. Which people again has woolly hair. In the earlier scripture, we show how the Most High has woolly hair. Only blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians fit that category. Go ahead. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. That's showing the, the, the austereness, the, the, the fierceness that he had in his eyes. That is Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. As what? As if they burned in a furnace. As what? As if they burned in a furnace. Now yet again, it shows you his hands and his feet as brass, polished brass, as if burnt in a furnace. Now anything that is burnt in a furnace definitely gets a darker complexion, a black or very dark complexion. Now those those who are claiming that they are Jews now. In Israel, do they fit that description? Yehovah Shai was from the tribe of Judah, and he was a black man, as described here in the Bible. But we know that, that the Jews who are in Israel right now are the fair Jews, and the scriptures also talk about them in Revelations 2 9 and Revelations 3 9. But now let's go to even more not just Yehovah Shai, but even the angels. Now let's go to Ezekiel. Chapter 1 and verse 5. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 1 and verse 5. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. Now these, this was a vision that Ezekiel had. And he is one of the most, one of the powerful men of the Most High. And the Most High used as a prophet to Israel. No other people, no other race of people, only to Israel. And he's having this vision and he's giving a description of these living creatures that he saw. They had a likeness of a man. Mm -hmm. And every one had four faces. Right. And every one had four wings. Verse 7. And their feet were straight feet. Mm -hmm. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Say that again. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Now this as well given a description of the angels as burnished brass. Which is an earlier description as we can see the trend or the pattern. There's a clear description of who or what the children of Israel are and also the angels. It shows their color and their description. The Bible has a description. And if we do not take this in hand, we will misunderstand scripture. One, and two, we will misunderstand and not know who the true children of Israel are. Who are today the so-called blacks? Hispanics and Native Indians. Oh now we have this here. This devil. This pedophile. This is Caesar Borgia, the son of Pope Alexander V. Or Salakia, the sixth of Rome. Now this is the angel that he, this is the Salakia, this is the image that they used to portray Christ. He was a homosexual. A rapist. And this is the image that they have of Christ. This is sexy Jesus. Christ was an austere man. This is a waste of time. Time for us to come back to the truth. True. The truth in which is described in the scriptures here. Let's dig in a little deeper. Let's see overall who the children of Israel are, who they, what they look like. 
Let's go to Jeremiah 14 and 2. To get a little more out of the scriptures. Too long the Christian church has fooled us, bamboozled us into thinking that color doesn't matter. But when you say that, that affects a people. When you look at that white pedophile, when you look at that, you don't see anything good in him. He's a devil, and devil only means deceiver. And he is the greatest deceiver on the earth. The white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Go ahead. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourneth. Now Judah mourneth. Now this given a description of what the Israelites or the children of Israel were going through at a point in time. Go ahead. And the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. They are what? They are black unto the ground. But this again gives a clear cut description of the children of Israel. There is no way around it. There is no way around it. The scriptures are bringing this out clear and simple. But the Christian church will come again with their smooth words and lying lips to try to discredit and say color doesn't matter. But we of the ISUPK under Commander General Yahana come to destroy all these lies and philosophies of the Christian church. Go ahead. Um, and the cry of Jerusalem is going up. Is that it? That's it. I don't can. All right. Go. Let's go again to get another part of the scripture. It was in the old. It was in the new. Now we're going to go again to another scripture that is in the Old Testament. That given a description of the children of Israel. Go to Psalms of Solomon 1 and 5. The inherent lies of the Christian church over 400 years of bondage that they have put us through. Not just in this dispensation, but also in the previous time. Go ahead. The book of the Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black. I am what? I am black. I am what? I am black. Now this is Solomon speaking. This is the song of Solomon. Go ahead. I am black, but comely. He's, oh. Salakia, he's, he said, I am black, but comely. We, as a people, are a, are, are, are a very beautiful sisters, and the brothers are strong and powerful. Go ahead. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as, as the tents of Kedar and the curtains of Solomon. Is that it? Come on, come. Yet another description of the color of the children of Israel. And Solomon is presenting this clear in the scriptures. There's no way around it. Nothing else. There, there's nothing that they can come with to try and dispute this. Let's go again. Even more proof in the scriptures. Let's go to Job 30 and 30. Come on, come on. It's time to destroy all these lies of the Christian church. We're dancing, we're singing, shaking all these tambourines, shaking their behinds all over the church with lies and hypocrisy. And we're going to destroy this. All these lies that they're bringing out. Too long that they have us mentally and spiritually bondaged through Christianity, through Islam, through Judaism, through everything else, all other religions under the sun. There is none other than the God of Israel. Go ahead. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me. My skin is what? My skin is black upon me. Now tell me, how can they go around this? Now this is Job. We all know the story of Job. Job was a man who went through <laughs> hell on earth in this truth. And he said it clear that he is what? My skin is black upon me. Go ahead. And my bones are burned with heat. And again, he's given a description of himself. What else? What else do you need to see that color does matter? 
Because if you say color doesn't matter, then when it comes to prophecy and to know who the children of Israel are, then you will be totally, <laughs> you, 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 you will miss it. You, as we just say, they will put a Houdini on you. The children of Israel, who are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians today, then they are the imposters. Those who claim, those who say they are Jews and are not. Those who are living in Israel. And the white man who is the devil continue to perpetuate the lies through Christianity and through all other doctrine to disguise and to hide the true children of Israel. To hide the true image of Christ in the scriptures. Is there anything else? Allah has it. Alright. Salakia. Let's go to Acts chapter 13 verse 1. Again, we're going to need New Testament to show once more they will say, okay, well, all the thing you're calling is Old Testament that the Lord done away with, which is another topic. But the law is not done away with. It's clear in the scriptures. So we're going to take the New Testament. We're going to go and show clearly that even in the New Testament, even in Christ's time, that black people existed. Not only that, they used to call us niggers as well. You don't want to believe me? Let the scriptures talk. Go ahead. Eh? The book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. Now there were now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon, that was called Niger. That was called what? Niger. Is this in the New Testament? Karen Khan. Niger. Now we will say, okay, Niger. No, that's not nigger. But let's get the definition. Let's get the root cause. Let's get the root word. Go ahead. Huh? What's the definition of Niger? The definition of Niger. Nigger, in the English language, the word nigger is an ethnic slur, typically directed at black people. To who? At black people. To black people. Now, why would Simeon be called Niger? Which in translation today is nigger. So then he has to be a black person, a black man. Go ahead. The word originated in the 18th century as an ad ad adaptation of the Spanish Negro, a descendant of the Latin adjective niger. A descendant of the Latin word niger. Which means black. Hmm. Now go and ask your pastor this now. Ask your pastor to explain this. That in the New Testament we were called niggers. Now, I don't know any white man that you call a nigger. The scripture is clear. Oh, it can only be speaking about one group of people. No one else. Blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians are the true people of the Bible. We are the children of Israel. And we are a people of color. Not those white devils, those deceivers who pretend that they are Jews, who pretend to be the children of the Most High, but they are not. And they continue to oppress us. They take away our language, our history, our customs and take it upon themselves. They want to be us, think like us, get the flair and the style of us, but they don't want to be a nigger. It's clear in the Bible. Now again, we are the ISUPK out of 1 West, 125th Street, out of New York, under commanding General Yahan. And we bring out the truth since 1969. And with that I say, Shalom. Shalom. Trying to find something to follow. Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain and a lot of sorrow. Got betrayed, so packed. I didn't even have my heart broke. Living confused, about to lose hope. 
Pops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues for this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good record Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? With them the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord?